Okay, the question is for the circuit shown in this figure, find the load impedance ZL that absorbs the maximum average power. Calculate that maximum average power. Uh, so we need to break this down into two major steps here. So we will need to find out the Thevenin equivalent first. So this is the first step, find Thevenin equivalent circuit. And then we need to do the usual Thevenin stuff. And then after that, we need to find the maximum average power. Find D max. Okay, let's do the first step first. Find the Thevenin equivalent circuit. And the first step to find the Thevenin equivalent circuit is to find the Thevenin impedance. So we need to find out the ZTH. Okay, how to do that? We need to take out this Z load here and also replace the sources, which is this one, with uh, open circuit because this is a current source. Okay, let's redraw the circuit here. We will have this 8 ohm resistor. And we also have this minus J4 ohm capacitor. Good. And then we replace this current source here with open circuit so we don't have any here. And then we will have this inductor here. And the value is J10 ohm. And then finally we will have this component here which is 5 ohm resistor. So have 5 ohm. And let's name this terminal A and this terminal S B, which is correlates to this node here, A and B, right? And the Thevenin impedance is the impedance seen from this terminal here, so ZTH. And how to calculate that? We can use the resistor formula here. So we will have 5 in parallel with 8. And then minus J4 and then plus J10 because these three components is in series, right? So we will have 5 in parallel with 8 plus J6. Okay, and then we can use resistor formula 5 multiplied by 8 plus J6 divided by 5 plus 8 plus J6. And I think the fastest way to do this is by using calculator. Let's set up our calculator here as complex number calculator. So this button here and number 2. And then we plug in that. So I'll have 5 multiplied by 8 plus 6i. And then divided by 5 plus 8 plus 6i and now we will have this one here which is 3.414 3.414 or 3.41 I think I just want to write two digits and then plus j what is it 0 0.73 0 0.73 and the unit will be ohm and this is our Thevenin uh, impedance. So we will have ZTH here is equal to that one 3.41 and then plus J 0 0.73 and the unit will be in ohm. Okay and that is the Thevenin impedance. The next thing that we need to find out is the Thevenin uh, voltage. Okay, let's do exactly that. But let's clean up the board first. Okay, now let's see what can we get here. We need to find out B. Find VTH, right? Find VTH. Okay, what is VTH? VTH is the open circuit voltage at AB. So let's redraw the circuit here. We will have that 8 ohm resistor. And then we have everything except ZL here actually. 
then we will have this one minus j4 and then we will have this 12 ampere current source and then we also have that 5 ohm resistor oh no we still have this inductor here which is j10 and then we will have this 5 ohms okay good and this is terminal a and this is terminal b okay so the vth is the voltage across this 5 ohm resistor so this one will be vth and how to do this uh i think let's name this node here as node a here and we can calculate node not a because that will be ambiguous with this one okay let's name this not here as not c and let's assume the direction of the current this is going up and this is going there and this is going there okay we can calculate vc here right by using kcl at not vc kcl at vc and kcl said that the sum of the current that goes in will equal to the sum of the current that goes out okay the only current that goes in is that 12 ampere here so we have 12 on the left hand side and then we will have vc here divided by this current here so i will have a minus j4 good and then here we also have plus vc divided by 5 plus j10 right 5 plus j10 good okay now take out the vc so i will have this one here as 1 and 1 okay and then this multiplied by vc so we can isolate vc here and we can just use calculator to calculate this right so we will have 12 there, 12 divided by this one here, 1 over 8 minus J4, and then plus 1 divided by 5 plus 10i. And that will be this VC here. So I will have 81, 81 point something there, point nine five one nine five one, and then plus we will have J seventeen point five six zero. 17.560 is that true no 561 561 and the unit will be in volt however this is vc we need to find out the vth right so we have vth okay what is vth vth is just 5 divided by yeah, we can use voltage divider, right? 5 divided by 5 plus J10 multiplied by Vc. But Vc is the one that is in calculator, right? So let's multiply this by this one here. So I'll have 5 divided by 5 plus 10i like this. And so we will have this one here. Okay, so this one and let's convert this into polar coordinates. So we'll have this one and number three. And that is the value that we are looking for. So our VTH is 37 point, 37 point, what, 481, 482, 482 and the angle. 
will be minus 51.34 minus 51.34 minus 51.34 degrees and the unit will be in volt okay so our vth here is this value here 37.482 and the angle will be minus 51.34 degrees good okay now we have zth and vth let's do that which is finding the max okay but let's clean up our board first okay now we need to do the second step which is finding the max okay when is the max happen that will be when zl is the conjugate of the z tevenin okay so we'll have the tevenin impedance here is this one so we just need to flip the sign so we'll have 3.41 minus j 0 0.73 ohm and that is our value of zl here and i think that will be good because we have the same answer here as the answer given by the book okay and that is for zl and then we need to find out t max t max is the magnitude of the tevenin voltage okay and then divided by the 8 multiplied by rth okay let's plug in the value then this one is square so what is the magnitude of VTH? The magnitude is this one here, right? So we will have 37.482 and then square divided by 8 and then multiplied by Tevenin resistance. But this is Tevenin impedance. Tevenin resistance is this part here. So we will have this one here is RTH. So we plug this 3.41 into this formula here. And finally, we can have the Pmax, which is, okay, let's do calculator then. This need regular calculator, and this one will be 37.482 square divided by 8 multiplied by 3.41. Okay, and that one will be 51 point, 51 point what? Yeah, I think we just assume 5 here, and the unit will be in what? Okay, and that is close enough to this one, and I think it's just a rounding error because we don't plug all the coefficients here. So, I think that is good enough for this problem. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video. Bye-bye.